okay hello again and here we are on a beautiful day and sun's out and the local bike shop is full of bikes as you can see but I'm not here for them we're here to look at Tim's XL 1250 again and today I'm here because we're going to weigh it Tim's MOT station has a built-in scale which is quite an accurate scale so we're going to weigh it front, front and back and we'll see how heavy it is and I've already weighed another bike almost identical to this but it's standard it's um, Lister's 883 1991 Sportster and I weighed that yesterday I didn't have my camera with me we did it the same way just as a sort of test and it came out with quite a good result it gave a total weight of 466 pounds now it should be about 485 but Lister's bike has a few mods to it it's got aftermarket pipes and so on so I reckon that weight's maybe about 10 pounds too low than what it should be but that doesn't matter because what we want to really do is look at the comparison of that bike and this one here because whatever the difference is that is going to be quite a true difference because as I say the scale is pretty damn accurate it's checked every quarter I think by the DVLA to make sure it's accurate so uh, yeah so let's get this thing fired up for the first time and we'll get it on the weigh scale and we'll see what it comes up with I think it'll be about 50 or 60 pounds lighter than uh, it used to be but we'll see so here goes then Okay, so that's 92. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we did a front again with the same method. Because yeah. I think when you sat on it, it was a little bit higher than it should be. Okay, here we go. Try not to uh, put any weight on it. And then we'll see. All the doubt was out there. This is an official, accurate way. Way scale. That's better. 90. 90. Yeah? Yeah. Right, brilliant. So that's 90 and... 92. 92. Okay. Yeah. okay, brilliant. And we've had it going to prove it does go. Yeah. So what's next, Tim? Are you going to stick it on a dyno or? It will go on a dyno. I'm just going to ride out and down now, see if it right. goes farther than 100 yards. <laughs> okay, right, we'll film that then. I've not got much petrol in, so if it stops, it's like. Oh well. You can push it. It's the first one I've ridden it, I think, for quite a while, since March. Not much fuel in it, but uh, sounds pretty good. Oh. And there he goes. Let's uh, say so it's not been uh, tuned yet, the jetting's just a guess. Okay. Now we can see what power it makes once it's on a dyno, but as you can see here, the bike shop's now absolutely packed, it's really busy, so uh, I'm not sure when that will be. When the sun shines, everyone comes on their bikes and it's the place is absolutely uh, rammed at the moment, it's so busy, working seven days a week, so I'm not sure when the bike will find a dyno, and also the dyno man, Sam, is off at uh, Northwest Tung at the moment, racing in Ireland, so... Uh, well, super busy. Yay! Dino next. Yep. Hopefully we'll be around to film that. <laughs> 